What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the changes coming to the two-handed skill line in ESO. A lot of people in the community feel like it was a buff in some ways and a nerf in a lot of the other ways that they have changed some of these two-handed skills. But either way, if you use a two-hander uh, in PvP or PvE, there will be a good bit of changes here when Update 33 releases. First of all, they talked about uh, Cleave and the Morph Carve. This is the Morph no longer increases damage per stack, but instead increases the duration per stack. Each cast increases the maximum duration by 10 seconds with a maximum duration of 30 seconds when at 3 stacks. They also increase the base damage per tick by approximately 66%. This will result in less overall DPS uh, from the ability when at 3 stacks but with significantly easier management of the effect. And also, when it comes to critical charge, the Stampede Morph, they reduce the initial hit of the ability by 20%. They increase the base cost to 4590 up from 3780. They increase the duration of the residual area to 15 seconds up from 10 seconds. And they also increase the damage per tick of the damage over time by approximately 3 seconds. Now, when it comes to why they did all of this, first of all, when it comes to uh, the carve morph from cleave it says previously this ability was allowed to stand alone as an incredible potent dot to help give two-handed weapons some much needed sustained dps to help it keep up with other weapons however the previous iteration created a situation where the maximum stacks were so strong it was eclipsed uh, it eclipsed many other dots in terms of raw dps so they're trying to kind of you know with the new iteration have less uh you know kind of strong dps i guess really up front and get it closer to other dots while giving it a high uptime to let you focus on other abilities or actions and when it comes to the stampede morph of critical charge they talked about similar to carve disabilities potency was juiced up to inject some power for skill lines and pve performance but was created to uh, created a situation where other morphs fell eclipse entirely even in pvp i'm not really sure how many people use stampede in pvp honestly I've not really ever seen a lot of builds or people talk about using it. I mean, I have seen people talk about it, but most people can get out of the way of it. It's not like it's something that's just way overpowered, but Stampede now focuses on damage less on an upfront burst and instead on a more sustained damage for targets sitting in an area, which of course in PvP is going to kind of be useless because most people are going to move out of your way, kind of like I said. Uh, overall, it feels like they were trying to tune this down from the last time they kind of tuned it up to be so strong. And a lot of people in the community have been commenting that they feel like it was just too overtuned to begin with, and it probably should have been completely reworked instead of really kind of somewhat buffing it in ways and nerfing it in a lot of other ways, both of these, you know, skills and morphs. So it seems like two hand is going to get a, a pretty substantial nerf in most people's minds. Uh, a lot of people use both of these abilities. Of course, you know, a lot of people use critical charge and the stampede morph. A lot of people use cleave and the carve morph. It seems like it's going to, I guess, kind of slow down uh, your ability to put out large DPS numbers with two hand. I'm sure there's going to be other things you can use, uh, you know, to kind of compensate for that. But at the same time, like I said, a lot of people in the community are just not happy with it because they feel like that it's just been overtuned so much instead of completely really reworking it. They're just kind of changing up some parts of it that a lot of people uh, just feel like it wasn't really necessary. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.